all right guys welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by so today I'm out here in the shop just doing a little bit of nonsense and I'll show you what I'm getting into because I started some stupid crap or did some stupid crap I bought this hunk of junk I guess let me rephrase that I didn't exactly buy this hunk of junk I bought a storage unit and this hunk of junk was in it and yeah that's that's about how that is so anybody who's never tried that before storagetreasures.com you get to auction on storage units for pe crap people leave behind it's kind of funny uh, but the coyote motor was in it the mustang was in it uh, i'll put up a picture and you'll be able to see what what uh some knucklehead was obviously trying to do a coyote swap in a storage unit and he gave up real quickly he didn't get very far but uh and he left it all to be abandoned apparently but coyote motor turns over free it's in good shape uh tag says it's out of s197 so <clears throat> gen one uh mustang coyote whatever that's for sale if anybody's interested uh, these um jms drag pack wheels and tires were in there so some random crap but this car is uh obviously when i bought the storage unit the uh i could only base it off the pictures that i could see online and they were pretty limited but it's a hunk of crap it's got a few decent parts on it i guess it'd be all right for if you were going to do like a four banger swap and use this as a donor because there's a 8.8 .8 under there and a t5 and a 302 that i haven't put a wrench on yet so i don't know if it's any good but i guess we'll find out um i may try to see if this thing will fire or if it'll crank i got a battery on the charge for, on charger for it so i'll see if i can get any power to the dash or anything at all i do have the keys i do not have the door keys so i can't get into the hatch at least till i get a battery on it and can hit the hatch button but it's got a sweet little nitrous setup on it have to get back there and see what's up with that bottle before it makes a freaking bomb or something in my shop i don't think nitrous explodes but fast and furious says it does uh monster tack some mismatched seats regular sport seat now i think that's like an old older late 80s gt seat i'm pretty sure it is correct me if i'm wrong on that but i think it is but uh yeah it's covered in primer it's got some bondo showing through it's got some rust or some chipping primer or whatever the hell that is yeah this thing's rough this thing's beat to shit some sweet weld uh weld drag lights those are drag lights right tell me if i'm tell me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure they're drag lights um yeah what you see is what you get with this turd uh there's some mac uh yeah mac equal length headers they're not even just the regular ones they're uh they're not even just normal shorties they're equal length so that's i mean that's a nice part right there uh your nitrous uh block nitrous solenoids yeah what a hunk of shit but you know whatever we'll see how it turns out i find i think it's kind of funny because um some guy took the time to get a temp tag for it so maybe it ran a year ago because that temp tag is from a year ago so maybe it ran um and he even took the time to get a nice custom plate for it but uh you know i don't know man i don't know what this guy saw in this thing but uh holy crap there was a 6r80 transmission in the um in the uh storage unit also so i don't know if all of it came out of the same car or what but uh my buddy took the 6r80 and he's gonna try to rebuild it and we'll probably sell that also because i don't have any i don't have any plans for anything like that let's take a quick look underneath real quick so we have what i do not think are subframe connectors if i'm not mistaken that is a 
piece of two inch square tubing welded in. I don't even think that is an actual subframe connector. I think that is a homemade situation. Uh, a lot of really cool pinch weld jack points. Somebody, somebody really knew what they were doing. It's very obvious. Uh, Off-road H-pipe. That's worth a little bit of money these days. You can't actually, uh, seeing as how you can't really buy them anymore. Looks like it's got looks like it's got Flowmasters, probably Flowmasters and dumps back there. It's got some uh, got some rust right here in the rocker. Front and rear sway bars are both removed. Um, those do not look like stock rear control arms. I do not know what exactly rear control arm that would be, but that does not look like a stock rear control arm to me. Uh, it's because it's like a squared tube thing. It's not um, It's not the normal uh, stamp steel. But yeah, like I said, what a hunk of shit. But you know what, who cares? It was, uh, it was cheap, came with came with some cool parts I'm gonna I'm gonna strip down what I can get off of it that's worth getting off <clears throat> and uh, yeah see what we can do with this thing all right so I don't think I'm gonna be the person that's gonna take the time to save this car I know a lot of us think that we should save as many of these as possible and we absolutely should you know anyone that's worth saving we can and this one I mean maybe to the right person could be saved as like a, a drag setup or you could make some sort of autocross or race car or whatever out of it if you know somebody who feels like it has the time right that's just not the project for me unfortunately um, he, even uh, anybody who keeps up with the Fox bodies of YouTube uh, and you watch the infamous project and uh, Castle Customs check out what it is they're doing with what they call the shitbox Fox um, there's might have been a little worse might have been a little better hard to say uh, but uh, yeah, they're putting in some real effort to make a really shitty car, kind of like a rat rod shitty car. It's pretty cool, actually. I dig it. Um, I just don't have the means to necessarily do all that. But yeah, I, I, I see the I see the potential nonetheless. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, I'm yank some cool parts off of it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully come out ahead on what I paid for the storage unit and it's about where that lands i guess we'll see how it goes um if you are new to my channel thank you for watching if you have found me because i was on the 50 asylum podcast with uh, war admiral 363 and four-eyed fox that's uh tom swinzer and john brooks and of course just a mess uh Thank you. Thank you for checking me out and listening to the podcast and go back and support those guys even more. I really appreciate all the support and anything that makes our community for the cars that we appreciate grow even further. Obviously, I still have this one and this one is in the forefront of my mind. That's really why I can't waste any time messing with that thing because I want this one to be better than it is. And it's pretty good the way it is, but uh, yeah. I have bigger plans so we'll get along to that later anyway guys thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one